throw a ball through the air. It moves both forward and upward. That motion's not one vector, it's the combination of two simpler ones. Any vector can be split into components. We usually use X for horizontal and Y for vertical. If you know the magnitude and angle of your vector, V sub X equals V dot cosine of theta. V sub Y equals V dot sine of theta. Those two form a right triangle that rebuilds the original motion. Want to go back from components to full vector form? Just reverse the process. V A equals the square root of VX squared plus VY squared. Theta equals the inverse tangent of VY over VX. That's how you reconstruct the total direction and speed. In component form, we can write the vector neatly as V equals V sub X I hat plus V sub Y J hat. That's your horizontal and vertical parts bundled together. Super useful for 2D motion and projectile problems. Breaking motion into components turns complicated curves into simple math. It's how physicists make sense of every throw, launch, or flight.